Now, accurate, fast, and fair. This is News 5 at 6. Well, a week from Election Day, Colorado key in the presidential race, and what you think is true about political loyalty in Southern Colorado may be misguided. Pueblo known for Democratic loyalty, El Paso County a conservative stronghold. So why has Mitt Romney bothered campaigning in Pueblo and President Obama in Colorado Springs? Bill Folsom takes a look beyond political preconceptions and stereotypes. The religious right. Colorado Springs has many power players influencing evangelical voters. There are some prominent institutions with a very important voice, particularly in national politics. Nationally prominent, but locally not necessarily dominant. The number of church-going conservatives in El Paso County is fewer than many think. UCCS political science professor Josh Dunn. Denver. Uh, has more people who belong to a church than El Paso County does. San Francisco does. New York City does. The Southern Colorado conservative bloc also includes boots on the ground military types. And Dunn says likely the most dominant local conservative group is the small business, stay out of my business and don't tax me type. The old Western Rocky Mountain Republican uh, kind of attitude. A nod to John F. Kennedy at the county line as you head into Pueblo is a sign of the county's reputation of dominance by Democrats. Yet, numbers from the past presidential race show there is a Republican reality. Obama got 57% of the vote and McCain 42%, a significant Republican showing. Head the other direction at the same county line, and it's all about Ronald Reagan heading into El Paso County. So why does Barack Obama campaign in a county where Republicans supposedly rule? The numbers from the last election show he can still get a lot of votes. What Barack Obama did in 2008 is he increased the Democratic vote in El Paso County by about 30,000. In a swing state, 30,000 votes can push Colorado purple into Republican red or Democratic blue. Remember the close race, hanging chads, and Supreme Court controversy in the Sunshine State, over 537 votes. We've seen much closer elections in state, Florida right? uh, in, in 2000. Put reputations and preconceptions aside, the candidates are doing a lot of campaigning in Southern Colorado because the votes are worth the fight. If you're looking at Colorado as a close election, and it most likely will be, uh, you know, 30,000 votes can put you over the edge. Southern Colorado with the potential to determine the outcome of the presidential race. Bill Folsom, News 5.